A couple of months ago, I bought my first Doc Martens and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of obsessed with them. I love my Doc Martens. I don't know what it is about Doc Martens shoes, but they're just, I don't know, they're one of my favorites right now. And I'm just gonna share how I kind of picked the right size for my Doc Martens. The ones that I have are the 1460s made in England. I, I really like those shoes and here are some things that can help you to choose a perfect size for you. If you don't know by now, Doc Martens, they only, for the most part, they don't do half sizes. My original size, or the one that I usually wear for every other shoes are the nine and a half American size. Nine and a half, I believe. UK size is eight and a half, but nine and a half is what I usually wear in every other shoes. So I had to decide whether or not to get a size nine or a size 10. And doing that, what I did is I went to my local store, a store that sells Doc Martens. And for me, the one that I went to was Journey. Journeys, they, um, when I went there, apparently they did not have my size, a size nine, but they had a size 10. So I just asked the guy if I can try one of the size 10 shoes. I put it on and it was way too big. Personally, too much shake. Like if I would have laced it up, tied it, like I don't have pretty wide feet, but I didn't like the fit of it. So I came home, ordered, ordered the shoes on the Dr. Martin website as a size nine, hoping that that one would fit my foot pretty well. The reason being is because I played soccer for most of my life and I knew that size nine is like my exact feet. Size nine is literally my exact feet and playing soccer, you need your cleats to be the exact size so that you can have more control. Like you can maneuver with the ball and it's easier to dribble. So that's what I did and after that, I just waited until the shoes came in and I literally took my time to break into them. I have a video on that. You can watch it right here. But just having those shoes, when I first got it, it was pretty snug. Doc Martens, one thing about it is that they come snug and then they can expand depending on the material. Mine was leather, so I knew that they were gonna expand later on. And one of the biggest things with the Doc Martens is that breaking into them can be pretty difficult. So once I first got those shoes, I cannot double sock. Like the, the boots were pretty tight, so I could not double sock. I couldn't, like the walking was okay, but personally it took not too long for me to break into the shoes because I felt like since playing soccer, like my background, my feet can kind of take a beating and I found it pretty easy to break into the shoes. But when it comes to sizing, a lot of people say to size down, but it all comes down to what do you want? Do you want the shoes to be a bit more free? As in more space inside? Or do you want it to be snug, knowing that if it comes snug, it's going to expand too. So that's another thing, depending on the material. Suede and other different material, they might not expand as much as the leather, but the leather ones, they expand. 